Hello everyone and welcome to how to add clouds and other mods to Kerbal Space Program. In this video I'll describe how I do it and that is without the use of a certain piece of software called CCAN that you might hear of from others but I find uh, the method I'm going to show you to be the most straightforward for me. And that's partly because I've been installing mods in Kerbal Space Program for a very long time. But anyway, uh, it's also a good backup method even if you do use CCAN. Uh, to figure out what's going wrong, which things often do if you have a lot of mods. So, but the most important mod I feel is clouds. I like clouds. And so I'll show you how to add clouds because I'm going to be using clouds in my career mode series that you'll be seeing on my channel. So, the first thing is, if you're going to mod Kerbal Space Program, it might be helpful to make sure that you have it in a separate folder outside of Steam or something else. So you'll have your regular install and then you should copy it into a separate folder so that you can mod it safely and nothing is going to get overwritten. Uh, so here I have my SSD and you can see I have many installs of Kerbal Space Program. Each one I just copied the contents of either the zip file that you get from GOG or the KSP uh, default website and or just copy the stuff from your Steam folder out into a different folder which you will name based on what uh, that particular install of KSP is meant to do. For instance, I have an install for historical stuff, for interstellar stuff, for the space shuttle, and that sort of thing. So we are here in KSP 1.4.1, and where we install mods is the game data folder. And ignore this little fix here, you won't have this. If you have the DLC, you'll have this folder. If you don't have the DLC, you'll just have this folder. And that is all right. So. What we want to do is go to the KSP forum, and this is the KSP forum here, and go into add-on releases. You can take a look at add-on developments too, but obviously if they're in development, that might be a little bit more dicey. So in this, we see that they very kindly label which version of KSP their mod is ready for. And the mod we want is environmental visual enhancements. So we go over here to environmental visual enhancements, and uh, we see that there are compatible mods here. The ones we will want are Scatterer and Stock Visual Enhancements. So Environmental Visual Enhancements includes the plugins that will allow things to produce clouds. But it doesn't have the best configurations for those clouds. The configurations for those clouds come from Stock Visual Enhancements. And so this is just configurations. In fact, uh, even configurations from previous versions might still work uh, as long as the plugins are updated. So the plugins are the ones that are most necessary to update with every new update of KSP. A lot of part mods from older versions, for instance, it's uh, conceivable that even if it says 1.3, the part mod will still work just fine uh, as long as it's not using a plugin. Actually, that particular one does have plugins, so got to be careful about that but some of them will not. And I'll show you what a plugin folder looks like so you can tell whether a particular mod is a plugin mod or whether it's a pure part mod. So, first thing we want to do is go over here and we need to find our, um, what you got, download. And so it says, if you're installing manually, download the latest zips from this location. And we click that. It, is, it was released 12 days ago. That seems to be uh, soon enough. And I have a happy little mod folder where this will go, but I've already got it in there, so okay. We don't need to do that. Okay, let's assume we've downloaded that. Scatterer is one that was re recommended by Environmental Visual Enhancements. It's also recommended by this one, and uh, you can see that here, optional but recommended. Scatterer. Um, I don't think Copernicus has been updated yet. We can quickly see. Uh, if we jump here, it seems to indicate that this is for 1.3.1, not 1.4.1. So, uh, though this was updated 22 days ago, it's probably not ready for this version of KSP. And uh, Planet Shine, for instance, uh, we will see it is only for 1.2, game version 1.2. So, it could conceivably work, but it's a little bit more dodgy and might cause some problems. Distant Object Enhancements. Uh, we see that this is for KSP 1.3, so let's just avoid that for now. We want to make sure that the mods we are adding say that they are for 1.4. And so for stock visual enhancements, you want to download 
this and the textures. Environmental visual enhancements we already did. Important, it says do not install the configurations. We did not. That would be a separate download. If we take a look at that page, um, the configs are in a separate zip. It didn't even include the configurations for this version, so we didn't need to worry about that. But again, the configurations that come with environmental visual enhancements aren't the ones that people generally use. So, uh, you have a choice on, well, first of all, you definitely need this file, SVE 1.3.0.1 currently, and it'll be updated. You can see this was released four days ago. It could be updated by the time you watch this video, and you will save that to your mod folder as usual. So, that is saved. And then you get a choice of high res, low res, or medium res textures, depending on your system. You might as well just, uh, you could try out high res and then if it crashes your game or you have problems, you can remember to go to low, uh, medium res or low res. And again, uh, well, I'll show you how to install that in a sec. So we have gotten those things and the last thing I want is scatter. And a scatter download link is here. Uh, let's just go for the alternate. I, I don't know, actually, this one says 141, so it's probably safe. So this is called Space Dock. They all have their, their mods on different locations, and so that's why CCAN was created, to make it easier to grab them, but not all mods are on CCAN, so uh, sometimes it's better to just check the KSP forums to see what's what, and also Checking the KSP forums allows you to take a look at all the details that they talk about. CCAN, it doesn't tell you everything. For instance, here, this website is very nice. It gives you not only the features, images, videos, but compatibility information about various mods, configuration points, planned features, major updates, change logs to see what was changed between one version and another. And uh, also, you can see what other people have said. There are comments, 283 pages of comments, to see if, if you're having a problem, maybe they've mentioned it already. So that's important. So you can take a look at and see if uh, you need to troubleshoot something. In fact, you might be able to do that before you download the mod. It might be advisable. So uh, I always recommend, rather than using CCAN, just going to the forums and taking a look at what they have to say. Uh, it's just more detail and you know what you're getting into. So, Scatter says game version 1.4, we download and uh, you'll see it automatically when I try and save this goes into the same folder because it's nice. Okay, so we'll have all our mods in this folder which says, and I recommend you make a mod folder that specifies which which version the KSP is for, right? So. 1.4 is what all these mods are updated for. Okay, so we downloaded all the things. Okay, so here we are with the folder that I add all my mods to, and we can see environmental visual enhancements, and that opened in a different window. You can see that uh, the mod has a game data folder and you have a game data folder, so we'll open both and drop the environmental visual enhancements mod in. Very good. Uh, the next thing I wanted was the SVE mod and stock visual enhancements, we add that in. Another mod, well, the high-res textures for the stock visual enhancements, don't forget those, or whatever texture pack you decide to use. Okay, so I mentioned the difference between a plugin mod and a configuration mod and a part mod. Well, this is a plugin mod, yeah, you can tell because it has a folder called plugins and it doesn't have a folder called parts. But just in case some mod doesn't have a folder called plugins, you can tell by the DLL files. Uh, any DLL file is a plugin. So any mod that has a DLL file is a plugin mod, even if it has other parts. So these are the toughest ones to make sure that they're compatible with your current version of KSP. Uh, soft visual enhancements. Uh, this DLL is actually not necessary and uh, you should just get rid of it. Uh, if you see mini AVC, what it is is a version checker. And so that's all that is. And a lot of mods will have this particular version checker uh, application extension in. 
But you can see as a configuration folder, and so these are all the configurations for clouds, city lights, jewels rings, eclipses, atmospheres, and so forth. And these are its configurations for Scatterer. But this mod does not have parts, and it also does not have um, the plugins. It's just dependent on other things, environmental visual enhancements for those, and Scatterer for these. So, uh, we should probably add in Scatterer. And Scatterer is another plugin mod. Okay, and Scatterer has this uh, DLL file and its own configurations. However, uh, the stock visual enhancements mod will overwrite some of the stuff here. You don't need to worry about ne that necessarily. A lot of mods overwrite other mods using another mod. And that other mod is Module Manager. And you'll see a lot of Module Managers floating around in different part mods. Uh, if something doesn't have a parts folder and you want to know whether it's a part mod, the key type of um, file that would indicate that is this .mu file. Or a part.config. But anything with a .mu file, that's a part. So these are parts, those are textures, that's a configuration. So as we're loading, uh, you will note that we have this mini ABC disk version checker that I pointed out before, and you can see the question, do you want to allow these to check for updates? I usually click no. And so suspense, do we have clouds? Yes, we do. And let's make, and um, this is scatterer. And so you can pick various scatterer options by pretty much never change these. So let's uh, go into my sandbox game, this one. And we see we have clouds. We have proper scattering effects. You can tell that on the water there. And also with the fog in the background with the mountains. And if we go to the tracking station, we should also see clouds around Kerbin and also effects around the other planets. Now that's interesting. That seems a bit wrong, doesn't it? So I don't know what's happening with Eve there. Let's just check out Jewel. I'll actually Duna first. Does Duna look all right? Duna doesn't seem very cloudy, but at least it looks intact. So we don't have to worry about it. I expect there are things that need to be fixed. How about Jewel? Jewel looks pretty good. I like, I like Jewel. She looks good. And how about Lathe? Lathe has clouds generally too. Lathe's clouds look a little bit streaky, but maybe that's how it's supposed to be. At least it doesn't look uh, completely wrong. All right, so we have clouds, and I think that's all I'm going to go into as far as mods in this video. We'll we'll talk about other mods like Kerbal Engineer and uh, other mods that might be helpful in future videos. But for now, you can get clouds in and that is what is important. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like, and I'll see you next time.